Aren't they all weirdos on some level? Like, they're all a little bit different. Yeah, they're, they are. I mean, for instance, you know, one small section of the movie talks about, you know, obsessive compulsive behavior, um, which, you know, a lot of basically all most of the greatest athletes have this where they're just, you know, like Gretzky, for instance, after he played, you know, a game at night, he would watch every single other game that was playing and, and he watched almost every game, you know, that was playing in any season and, and basically – and people say, you know, well, Gretzky knew what was going to happen before it actually happened. Well, it's because he, he was studied obsessive. It like yeah, yeah. He, he 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 had seen everything. He knew he wasn't a physical standout. Yeah, and he. I, I saw the really. clip where he he wasn't, but he had to be prepared and he had to over prepare to succeed to the heights that he did. Exactly, and he and not just succeed. I mean, the guy literally obliterated any statistic, statistical, you know, goal scoring, right. assists, and I mean, but by. It, it, he, no one will ever catch him. No. But, you know, most of these guys that were, you know, not your sort of genetic profile, if you put them in a lineup, if you had standardized tests for, for these athletes, they would come, like you guys were talking about Yale, they, they would get like a 900 on a sports SAT, let's right. say. But they, they were able to basically reinvent sport around their weaknesses. Like Gretzky, for instance, you know, he didn't have a hard shot. He, he skated very awkwardly, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, he wasn't very fast. But he knew, again, like we were saying, he knew what was going to happen. He was in the right place at the right time. He would appear out of nowhere and all of a sudden score a goal. I mean, Jerry Rice, Pelé, you know, Lionel Messi, they all had, you know, weaknesses when they were young and were able to sort of, uh, you know, overcompensate in other ways to really How dominate. How do they cultivate it, that? That's something. I mean, look at Tom theory, Brady. They have same to have story. it, right? They have to have. You can't cultivate that in somebody, right? That, These, yeah, you can't. Drive, you can't right? manufacture it. You, you can't. can't you, you can't manufacture right. greatness. You know, I, I, which we try and do. We're a society that's obsessed with with greatness. That's all we talk about. Do we want to see that? But we do don't you know where to find. Tiger in this or no? I I have a, a small bit of him. Um, because I, he I was didn't go through his whole story. Yeah, manufactured, right? In a yeah. way. Yeah, we, there's a small clip in the movie, and I'm not going to ruin it. But basically, yeah. where he's like, I think two years old, and he's on this Mike this, Douglas show, exactly, right. and swinging clubs. It was manufactured, and I think when when he lost the love of the game, and during that period, mm -hmm. you saw. I mean, he he couldn't win, you know. And I think his whole thing is is trying to find that love, that child, that that sort of childish. Mm -hmm. love for for the sport which is basically what my film is about where it's all about having fun i mean you can't achieve those levels unless you, you just have tremendous you joy love it. tremendous yeah. joy we're talking to uh gabe polsky the new movie's called in search of greatness you also tackle genetics because i always say genetics is a big part of it now it's not all of it but certain people have genetic advantages and certain people have genetic disadvantages. Right. Now, you can point to somebody like Lionel Messi and say, well, he had dis some disadvantages and was able to overcome it. But uh, how big of is genetics, genetics in the mix? It, it's obviously one of many factors. I mean, if, let's look at, like, Tom Brady, for instance, right? I mean, he's, he is tall, and he, he can throw pretty hard on a relative scale, but he's not very fast again, and he's got, he's got a lot of weaknesses, you know, if you, if you profile him. Look at him and do very well and sort of no one thought he was going to he was drafted very low but there are hidden within everybody these sort of also genetic benefits that we we just have to discover you know what i'm saying so if we all have our strengths and our weaknesses but you know i think you just have to f really understand who you are and, and 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 what you can do and sort of how many, what percentage of them, because I always like goof on Tiger, you know, I feel like he's socially awkward. I think a lot of these guys socially are very awkward, right? Yeah. They're just raised differently. They, you know, I guess maybe because they're so consumed with their sport, they didn't develop yeah. those other skills. Yeah. It's interesting. So, again, in my movie, you know, Gretzky basically was saying that he, you know, when he was a kid, everyone, you know, kids would go to the movies and, and do this and that. And, you know, they would say, wait, and come to the movie. He, he didn't want to go because uh -huh. all he wanted to do was you know, shoot pucks in his backyard. That, that's all he wanted to do. You know, and I think, obviously, if you're not socializing all the time, you're not going to develop those skills. So, I mean, there's trade-offs in life. Also, and, man, the greatest ones are like, I just call them kind of like weirdos. They're socially yeah. awkward. They're just maybe it's well, like an super, autistic, they're like, super hyper focus because you hear, yeah. you know, along those same lines of not going to a movie, you always hear like, you know, tennis stars that are, you know, 
bred from when they're six, seven years old to play tennis all day long. Like, they never go to dances. They don't go to their proms. They don't really socialize with mm-hmm. a lot of their, you know, their their peers. 